Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Amid the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine, the United Kingdom has substantially increased its support for Ukraine by announcing a new aid package valued at 381 million euros. This initiative, revealed by Defense Secretary Grant Shapps during his third visit to Ukraine, includes the provision of over 10,000 drones to the Ukrainian armed forces. Shaps met with President Volodymyr Zelensky and Defense Minister Rustam Umerov to reaffirm the UK's unwavering commitment to Ukraine. This increased funding, now totaling approximately 381 million euro, marks a significant escalation from the initial pledge of 234 million euros announced by the Prime Minister in January. The aim is to supply a diverse array of unmanned platforms, predominantly first-person view, FPV, drones, along with 1,000 one-way attack drones developed in the UK, as well as surveillance and maritime drones. These new drones, originating from the UK's leading defense industry, are slated for delivery throughout 2024, enhancing Ukrainian capabilities on the battlefield. Shaps emphasized the objective of equipping Ukraine with state-of-the-art technology while urging international partners to support this endeavor. The effective deployment of various drone types by the Ukrainian armed forces has already proven impactful with these devices enabling the destruction and disruption of numerous Russian equipment and vehicles at a notably lower cost. FPV drones, in particular, have demonstrated effectiveness in bypassing Russian air defenses to strike targets, furnishing vital situational awareness for targeting enemy positions and armored vehicles. This announcement comes after a meeting of the US-led Ukraine Defense Contact Group, which convenes over 50 countries offering military assistance to Ukraine. The UK, in conjunction with Latvia, will spearhead an international coalition focused on enhancing Ukraine's drone capabilities. Both the Prime Minister and the Foreign Secretary have underscored the significance of rallying international support for Ukraine. Last month, during a gathering of NATO ministers, the Defense Secretary urged alliance members to further bolster their commitment. The UK's substantial contribution, including an investment exceeding €117 million Euros in maritime capabilities, aims to continue altering the course of the conflict in the Black Sea region in favor of Ukraine. That's all for now. See you later.